Forget everything you think you know about ancient civilizations. Today, we're journeying to a land of forgotten giants, where scientific minds blossomed centuries before their Western counterparts. We're heading to ancient India, and we're not here for yoga retreats or spicy food, though those are great too. We're here to crack open the vault of history and unearth groundbreaking discoveries that change the course of science forever. From pioneering surgeons who performed the world's first plastic surgery to mathematical geniuses who invented the concept of zero, ancient India was a hotbed of innovation. Prepare to have your mind blown as we explore deeper. Did you know that the concept of zero, a foundation of modern mathematics and science, originated from ancient India? Let's journey back to the era of the ancient Indian mathematicians who first grappled with the idea of nothingness, or Shunya. This concept, which we now know as zero, was a radical idea that sparked a revolution in mathematics. In the realm of numbers, where everything had a value, the idea of something having no value was both revolutionary and perplexing. Ancient Indian texts, notably the Atharva Veda and the Bodhayana Sulva Sutra, hint at the use of a placeholder in mathematical operations. This placeholder was the precursor to the modern zero. However, it was the ancient Indian mathematician Brahmagupta who first documented rules for mathematical operations involving zero around the 7th century. His work, the Brahma's Futa Siddhanta, provided a robust framework for handling this intriguing number. Remember that some of these images are indicative and we may never know what these ancient greats really looked like. The concept of zero didn't just stay in India. It journeyed westward, carried by Arab traders and scholars who translated Indian mathematical texts into Arabic. This led to its adoption by the Arab mathematicians and subsequently its introduction to Europe. The concept of zero, as we know it today, was hence born, transforming mathematics and science forever. The genesis of zero is a testament to the intellectual prowess of the ancient Indian scholars. It's a reminder of their foresight and their ability to grapple with abstract concepts that were well ahead of their time. Indeed, without the concept of zero, modern science as we know it wouldn't exist. Up next, surgery in ancient India. Sushruta, an ancient Indian physician, is often referred to as the father of surgery. But why? Well, let's delve into the annals of history and unravel the tale of this pioneering figure. Sushruta's significant contributions to the field of medicine, specifically surgery, are well documented in the Sushruta Samhita, an ancient medical treatise. This comprehensive text, written in Sanskrit, meticulously details over 300 surgical procedures and describes 120 surgical instruments a testament to the advanced surgical knowledge of the time. From performing complex surgeries such as cataract and caesarean section, to crafting prosthetic limbs made of iron and wood, Sushruta's surgical acumen was truly ahead of its time. His detailed study of human anatomy, his emphasis on the importance of cleanliness and hygiene in surgical procedures, and his innovative use of wine as an anesthetic, all speak volumes about his forward-thinking approach to medicine. So, the next time you see a surgeon at work, remember Sushruta, the ancient Indian physician who laid the groundwork for this life-saving discipline. Let's move on, now to India's contribution to astronomy. Imagine calculating the approximate value of pi and the length of the solar year over a millennium ago. Sounds impossible? Not for Aryabhata. In the early days of the 6th century, a man named Aryabhata was making groundbreaking strides in the field of astronomy. His contributions to the world of science were nothing short of revolutionary, and his name continues to echo through the halls of astronomy and mathematics even today. Aryabhata's work on the approximation of pi was a marvel of ancient mathematics. He proposed that the value of pi was approximately 3.1416, and while this might seem elementary to us today, it was a calculation of extraordinary precision for his time. This approximation of pi 
an essential constant in geometry and trigonometry paved the way for numerous advancements in the field of mathematics. But Aryabhata's genius didn't stop at mathematics. His astronomical calculations were equally profound. He calculated the length of the solar year as 365 days, 6 hours, 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Amazingly, this is just 3 minutes off from the actual value recognized today. Aryabhata's work is a testament to the profound understanding of the cosmos that existed in ancient India. His calculations, while performed over a millennium ago, still hold true today, highlighting the advanced scientific knowledge present in ancient Indian society. His legacy continues to inspire modern scientists and astronomers, reminding us that the quest for knowledge transcends time and geographical boundaries. From the concept of zero to groundbreaking medical and astronomical advancements, these ancient Indian scientific discoveries continue to influence our world today. We've delved into the genesis of zero, a concept so fundamental to mathematics and beyond, it's hard to imagine a world without it. We've explored the innovative surgical methods of Sushruta, the father of surgery, whose techniques continue to inspire modern medical practices. And we've embarked on a cosmic journey with Aryabhata, whose astronomical calculations opened up the heavens for study and understanding. These are but a few examples of how ancient Indian science has shaped our present and will continue to shape our future. If you enjoyed this journey into the scientific past of ancient India, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to SciSips for more fascinating insights into the world of science.